right? So a lot of cues, of course, working well for the Indian economy. But for now, let's do one thing. Uh, let's get into a corporate conversation now. Dollar Industries delivered a weak second quarter. Revenues declined 13%. And both margins and profits came under pressure. To discuss the quarter and the outlook going forward, we are now joined by Vinod Kumar Gupta, who is the managing director at the company. Uh, Mr. Gupta, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, well, quarter two, two did see a sharp decline in margins for you. They almost halved on a year-on-year -year basis. Uh, what is the raw material situation right now and what happened in quarter two that you are able to improve on in quarter three and quarter four? Uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, with respect to the raw material, uh, which were uh, very much fluctuating in the recent past, because of which the price hike, which we scheduled to uh, take uh, in the month of July, we could not take because of the fall in the prices. Uh, but right now, the present in uh, present scenario, the price, uh, the raw material prices seem to be a little bit on a stable side, and maybe in next 15 to 20 days, we see that the prices are getting stabilized. This is the raw material uh, prices we are talking about, and once the uh, prices become stabilized, of course, uh, the margin which we have seen a little bit of dent in the uh, last two quarters, uh, the, the business is going to be stable. And the margins will again improve to what it was there uh, in the last year. We hope to close uh, this year's EBITDA uh, at around 13 to 14 percent. Of course, this is this is a little bit uh, low on the uh, on the lower side in comparison to the numbers of 21, 22. But uh, once the prices of raw materials get stabilized in next uh, two weeks of time, the uh, improvement in both business and the EBITDA level will uh, have a uh, positive growth. So I just wanted to just ask you about your EBITDA guidance again. 13 to 14% is where you expected to improve to versus 9.7% uh, that you did in the first half. So the second half is expected to be exponentially better for you, at least in terms of uh, EBITDA. Yes, yeah, we understand that the um, EBITDA level, uh, we are sure to uh, achieve uh, 13 to 14%. And because we understand a good amount of business in uh, this current uh, uh, quarter and the uh, next quarter, and since the prices are getting stabilized, so we don't see any further dent in the uh, beta uh, level, I mean, uh, beta percentage. Rather, we will improve it in terms of profitability. Okay. So have you been able to push any price hikes now, Mr. Gupta? And in that case, since second half is expected to be really strong, do you stick to your revenue growth guidance of 14 to 15 percent? Because that would mean that you have to do a revenue growth of 30 percent in the second half, since you've seen a decline in first half as well. Yes, we know. In the, if, if you uh, look at the uh, first half, uh, we, uh, we did a growth of 8 to 10 percent in the first half as compared to the first half of the last fiscal. And we expect, in, in totality, we expect a total growth of 14 to 15 percent as against the numbers of 21, 22, and uh, thereby uh, pushing the sale to uh, the numbers which we uh, have been uh, targeting. Okay. Uh, your company secretary resigned on the 10th of November. What was the reason for that? Uh, he has gone, I mean, uh, uh, the secretary has uh, moved to a a better place in the, uh, according to the arrangement filed by him. And we have already appointed a, a new candidate, uh, one Madam Mamta Jain has already joined. And she is even more efficient than the, uh, uh, the other one which has resigned. Okay, all right. So point taken there. Uh, let's talk about your modern trade and e-commerce sales volumes because that grew 67% on a YY basis. What does it contribute to right now in terms of revenues? And uh, how much more can you, can of a growth can you see here? I'm asking because this one has grown on a lower base. Uh, but going forward, what are you expecting? Uh, this year, uh, we have the target of uh, e-commerce and the modern retail to touch uh, a figure of around 100 crores in this current fiscal, which will be around 8% of the total revenue, 7 to 8%. And the growth rate, of course, as you said, the uh, base level is very low. So therefore, the growth percentage, of course, stands very high. Mm. But uh, we are we are we are going with a big jump in this sector, and this sector is really doing very well for us. Mm. And uh, we are also, uh, in terms of EBOs, also uh, we have targeted uh, of closing the numbers at 25 to 30 EBOs in this current fiscal. Right now, we are already having eight EBOs, 
and uh, the work is already going on. And in next couple of uh, months, we are going to open further seven to twenty uh, EBOs uh, uh, all across the country. Okay, you have some new product uh, ranges which you have introduced or are planning to introduce. Uh, can you just tell us what the plan is for the second half? What is the capex outlined, and what are you envisaging in terms of sales? Uh, there is no, there is no uh, capex plan. The capex which was planned uh, around one year back of one hundred and twenty crores. We are already uh, on that uh, capex spending, and the projects which we are undertaking uh, against that uh, capex of 120 crore, those are on uh, um, uh, moving ahead with the time, and they are on on time uh, as well. And with regard to the uh, change in the product line, of course, we are coming ahead uh, with the uh, 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 Atelier at segment. We are moving ahead with the uh, women section. Hmm. And in the force and XT, we are moving ahead with the men's active wear segment in January and February in two months' time. Okay. All right, Mr. Gupta, thank you so much for joining us, taking us through your plans for the thank company you. going ahead and the outlook as well. Well, just 10 points away on the Nifty as far as record high is concerned. We already have Sensex on record high and mid-cap index is, is 1,500 points away. Thing. Yeah, it <laughs> is. It is, but we're still waiting for that mark, right? <laughs> so, yes, uh, looking for, uh, just waiting for those 10 points in the Nifty. Till then, we'll do one thing. We'll slip into a short break. On the other side, excerpts from our conversation with IRDAI chairman. We spoke to him on host of issues like nods to new insurers, composite licenses, removal of preference and reinsurance, and lower capital as well. Stay tuned.